In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix pixelated image on Shopify. Let's get started. So in here, I have here an example of a picture from Shopify right here. So the actual size for it is 5,000 by 3,333 pixels. So we also have here a website image size guideline for you to know the guideline or the actual pixels that is available or that is actually acceptable. So for the pixel width, it should be around 2,500. For the image size, it depends on the use for case. File size needs to be anything bigger than 20 megabytes in size because it can dramatically impact your website speed. This because smaller image are better in most cases. Image attributes also need some alt tags or alt tags if it's just text based and don't impact your website's performance. So in here, as you can see, I, I have here a best image dimensions for desktop and mobile devices. You can see the act actual background image should be 2560 times 140, or on the mobile, it needs to be around like this. So you can just choose which type. It can be hero image, website banner, blog image, logo, favicon, social, lightbox, and tablet image. So for me, the actual product that I have right here which is the hat product that I have, this one, which has this around banner, is actually already allowed for 300 by 300 pixels. So it needs to be on the square size as well, it's just this ratio. This means that as you can see, it is actually very, actually very slow to load. This is because the actual pixel is very, actually so very big. So what we can do is we can click on this crop and rotate right here. First thing we need to do is we need to make it square. And let's resize it into like this. And then once you have done that, as you can see, it, it's now on the squared port. So you can also have the option to rotate it. So click on commit edit. And once you have commit your edit, you should be able to see a new changes on your actual image. So let's head over and as you can see, it is square. So let's click on the third icon, which is their size. Click on commit edits again. Then once you have click on commit edit, let's change the width into 300 pixel up to 300 pixel. And then as you can see, this is what it looks like right now. Now let's click on done right here and then click on save. Then this will save the actual picture for our thumbnail. And this should be really easy to load again. As you can see, it loads almost instantly. So that's the whole process. If you have found this video helpful, so if you need to like below or subscribe because this helps reach more people. See you soon.